Love in my heart, oh yeah. I've got a tractor that won't start, oh yeah. It's a classic problem in this day and age. It's the starting motor on my tractor. Hello, people, it's been a while, but I'm back from the black and I've got a very simple video. But there's some interesting information that some beginners might get something out of and some not beginners might be able to add some information in the comments no and together as a community we make something very very beautiful <laughs> this is a maxus padlock now i think maxus is an oem it's got an iseo or iso core but the beauty of this little padlock is you can replace the uh, lock just show you it all works OEM is where a company abroad probably China Taiwan or something they'll make they make products and they'll put your branding on them that's an OEM product anyway so we've got this ISEO half euro in there proper twisted tension wrenching Praxis Bogota and just a bit of very simple raking little bit of rocking and Bob is your ISEO uncle mum where's uncle ISEO <laughs> so actually quite a nice bit of housing quite a nice padlock but that core that half euro in there that's doing no one any favours let's replace it but first of all, look, now there's a lot of debate in the lock picking world whether the shape of the pick has any correlation with its ability to pick that lock. But look at that. I am on the side that says without a doubt there's a correlation, which is why most decent pick sets have a city rake, because the city rake is like a key. Anyway, to replace this, you have to open the lock. It would be ridiculous if you didn't, because you could just replace it. And uh, hex screw or Allen key in, drop that. <laughs> and then it, there's this quite nice little design, you just open that. Put that somewhere safe. And I don't know why that didn't come out then. Ah, oh, that's why. <laughs> there you go, look. So, because assuming I'm going to lock something I care about, that's, that offers no protection. But that is a quite a nice bit of machine in that Maxus padlock. Quite a heavy, heavy weight, nicely bit of made kit. So, I'm going to... Look, it's nice, isn't it? Shame to waste it just because you can rake the lock in 20 seconds. Pop that back in there, place it back. You get the idea, we don't need to watch any more of that, do we? Although, I do want you to see the shackle locking mechanism, because it's quite nice. There you go, look. Quite nice, actually, to see the old cam working like that in a padlock. <laughs> Don't let your wife see you enjoying something like that. <laughs> Here's a Euro-spec half-cylinder I could put in there. I can't rake this because it's got spool pins. Let's see what the SPP's like. There, I've got a Dangerfield extended top wrench. They're 15 mil longer than the standard ones, and I, I appreciate that with my bony old long fingers. Multi-pick, uh, deep hook. And I'm not 
Oh, I'm not the best camera user. Camera operator, director of photography. Um, I'm not the best single pin picker, but I can do it. Get comfortable. <laughs> Maybe make a cup of tea. Maybe go make a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have picked a lock. But this isn't proving too much. There's a bit of counter rotation there. That's a spool pin. Ease off the tension a bit. Lovely. Goes back to the back of the lock. No, my ring finger resting on the lock there. I mean, I've seen beginners trying to pick locks with almost like a floating pick. So, no, the index finger is on the top of the pick. Ring finger is on the shaft of the pick. And also, not always, because I'm trying to get that real deep cut, but also resting on the lock. So you've got sort of fulcrums going on there. You've got, you've given yourself a little bit of ability to manipulate. I, I've honestly seen people just with the, the pick just in there. I mean, you know, yes, you can use the walding as a fulcrum like I am now, but just having that, having that index finger steady in you occasionally, I mean, you can't pick an entire lock like this. You know, I'm using the walding as a fulcrum, but even so, I've had to go back. And this is really not making... I mean, you know what? I could have re-edited this. I could have used a different lock, but I want to show beginners this is what lock picking's like. I just picked this lock. Ah, oh, thank the Lord. I just picked this lock in about 30 seconds. But sometimes it will take me eight, nine minutes. So, now I know I've got a better core from a Maxus. So what am I going to do? That's right, I'm going to replace it. We can skip all this nonsense though. go got me preferable euro spec pop it in there close the shackle lock it and then all I've got to do is tighten up that hex screw allen key and uh, quite a nice lock has been made a little bit better Hands, knees, and a bumpsy daisy. Nice. Lovely. A little bit more raking. So probably the first raking technique you're going to learn is scrubbing. Um, and look at these, look. Praxis Ionic. Iron vapor deposition coating. It's not actually a coating. It's been bonded into the steel. It's quite something. Anyway, I've got an S rake, sometimes called a W rake, and I've got half diamond. And you know, in the last video, I've done a bit of rocking, a bit of scrubbing, but this is probably what most people, this is what most raking beginners learn first. Zipping, sometimes called ripping. I mean, there's all sorts of names for raking, zipping, ripping, scrubbing, rocking, Shocking, blocking, knocking, and tick tocking. And that's how easy it is. You put in the pick at the back of the. And I'm, don't forget, a half diamond is not a rake, it's a pick. Here we are, we've got a union. Don't they call these? Let us know in the comments. Why are these called something like. What are they called? Like Norwegian cylinders or something? Or uh, what's the other one? <laughs> Dutch cylinder. <laughs> we'll go move on to the S rake here. Reset the uh, lock. There's another word. It's not Norwegian. Ah, oh, it's bugging me now. Anyway, as I explained on the last uh, clips, sometimes I've raked this in like the third rake, and as you can see, it's giving me dramas. Lock pickings like this, people. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm an absolute lockpicking genius and get these things open first time. Because I think that sets bad artificial standards for beginners and it demoralises them. 
you know, this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's about, while I'm making a video, this is a pain in the ass. I only said ass twice then, so that I know when I edit this, I'll put a picture of a nice ass on the screen. That's four times. Um, that ain't playing ball. I'm going to pop that down for a bit. We'll go back to that. What else we got here? They are ASIC padlock. Pretty decent padlock. In goes the tension tool. We'll go back to the S rake. Zip it. Come on, zip it. Zip it. Zip it. And this is also letting me down quite terribly. But again, this is lock picking. I've just picked these, all of them, in about a minute. I thought, oh, these would be some nice locks to make a video with. But again, lock picking. You know, locks don't play ball just because you're making a video. Or just because you want them to open. Which is a pain in the arse. But you persevere, you change your tension, you change your technique. You work with what variants you've got at your disposal. And then you start praying. <laughs> it works. <laughs> there you go. The ASEC is open. Oh, I know. Scandinavian. That's what those oval cylinders are called. Someone in the chat tell me why they're called Scandinavian. I call this my special K cylinder. If anyone knows why, what lock it is. It's got a K on it. Yeah, back of the cylinder... There you go. And you just apply the tension as you zip it. Now, what else we got here? Unbranded, generic. Let's try the half diamond. So, as I pull it, that's when I apply the pressure on the tension tool. Not too much. And not, well, what is too much? If it's not working, change it. Maybe, like I've just changed to the S-Rake. If it is working, you've got it. If it's not working, try a bit more tension. Try a bit less tension. Work with the variants you've got at your disposal. Like, I've intentionally limited myself to two rakes here and one tension tool. But within that selection, there are variants I can use. With tension. I can pulse the tension. I can I can zip at an angle like I am now rather than just coming, you know, uh, I was going to say perpendicular, but it's not. What an arse. There you go. You've only got to say the magic word perpendicular and it opens. The Scandinavian lock. Am I going to ruin the video and give it another go? I must open you. <laughs> that sounded a bit sensual. <laughs> Come on, mate, help us out. I've got a video to make here. Now, I'm really at an angle. Can you see that? As I'm coming out, it's all... Uh, la, 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 la. I'll tell you why that lock's difficult. You can see that little brass bit above the keyway. I've bumped that lock to pieces. <laughs> and if you look at these, look, you think, oh, my God, that coating has been ripped off. Not at all. That It's not a coating. It's That's... That's gunk and brass. <laughs> Sounds like the uh, title of my biography. That's gunk and brass from the inside of the lock. The Praxis Ionic is wicked. Legendary. There you go, people. Some raking. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. If you, are, if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. You know, I make these videos for your pleasure and your entertainment. And it would be nice if you give it a thumbs up. It's hard making a cutting out a, a YouTube channel in the current uh, AI infested centrifuge ta 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 no what a legend what was his secret the secret is practice maybe watch one of these videos that I've put on the screen for you I've selected them personally for your pleasure See you next time.